Hey YouTube, Camper Van Kevin here. Well today, I'm in Sholo, Arizona. Hey everybody. Well today, I'm gonna start working on getting these stripes ready to paint on Miss Gypsy, my Class A Coachman RV. Here are the few things I got together to get the job done. Some 3M scouring pads, stripping pads, foam roller, bonding primer, blue tape paper. I got gray, red, blue, and black paint. If you haven't noticed, uh, I have a 2000, if I hadn't, hadn't seen my other videos, I have a 2004 Coachman Murata that I have named Miss Gypsy. And the stripes are in less than perfect condition. So I'm going to start uh, working on them. I'm not going to paint them all at once, but today I'm going to work on this one right here. Now back here in the back, it had a uh, a graphic on it that I didn't like, so I peeled it off. And when I did, some of the paint underneath the sticker came off, so I've got to sand that down. But uh, I don't particularly care for the silver right here. I think it's too similar to the beige. So this is a stripe that I plan on working on today this was the side that set most toward the sun a dark color marvy's in really nice condition except for these stripes so i'm gonna try my hand at making it look nicer i went to school for paint and body work and i've worked on a shop or two but not for very long i built up an allergic reaction to the paint get real sick around the body shop but uh, with the foam rollers they have now It'll lay that paint down nice and smooth. It'll look good, you'll see. So what I'm gonna do, <clears throat> I'm gonna very carefully stay on this line right here and scuff up this. This stripe is paint. These are vinyl. So I got a mixture of paint and vinyl stripes on here. But I'm going to sand them all down so we get good adhesive adhesion with a primer. And the reason I'm going to use primer is because if I just paint over these cracks and then it cracks again, it'll crack my top coat. But with the bonding primer on top, it'll be flexible and it can crack underneath, but it won't get my top coat. So I'm going to be busy for a little while. It's all about the prep work. Now, I've got these cracks. I've got a little hole right there in this end corner cap. I'm going to put a turn -a tape over that. It'll be forever fixed. And then I'll come back and I'll, I'll paint that and fix it. It'll be a very good, solid, lifetime, good-looking repair. So I got the other side and this scuffed up. I'll come back with my sandpaper here and get that out. So I'm gonna finish scuffing up this here. With a primer, I probably wouldn't have to do this, but I just like to be thorough. It only takes a minute. All right, now I've gone. I've got a little company today. People stay getting their four-wheelers and getting them ready for the trails. But I've went over everything with the, uh, call them Scotch Brights. And I went over these bare places with a heavier sandpaper now going back with a lighter. But the bonding primer is going to be so heavy you won't see all this, but I want to make double sure.
Got all kind of help this morning. I cut on the camera and they go over to see Edward. Edward's uh, my nurse, traveling nurse friend. He's camping with me for a little bit. You seen uh, Martini, Edward? Oh, she's uh, around here somewhere. Okay, on the other side. Oh, there she is. But I got everything sanded now. I'm going to wipe it down with a uh, thinner. Clean it up a little bit before I run the tape lines. So I'll wipe it down with this to get all the paint residue off that I sanded. And then I'll, uh, it'll also make the, the tape stick good. One side that's been sanded, wiped down, and taped. I got to get to the others. Got all the got all the stripe taped up. Edward's gonna go grab us some lunch. So it's just about ready for primer. You can go ahead and do it without me. Thank you, Martini. This is the roller I'm gonna use. The wind's picked up. <clears throat> it kinda of tastes like a roller. I'm gonna show you a brush. But uh, made for cabinets and doors. And this uh, applicator is made for all paints, varnishes, and whatnot. So this is what I'll use to apply the primer and then the, then the paint. What, what color are you gonna paint it? Pink? Uh, no, babe, we're gonna go black on this one. I, I don't think daddy needs a pink stripe on his RV. Come on. I think it'd be kind of funny. Well, I won't be laughing. I just read on the label that uh, you gotta let this primer dry for two hours for latex, four for oil. I'm almost considering not putting the primer on, but I'm gonna do it and put in the time. That'll really push my project on up till dark though. And you know, honestly, I don't know how this is going to work. Everybody's like, oh, we need to do it like you, Camper Van Kevin. Well, you know what? I'm guessing. That's what I'm doing. I'm thinking that this will work. So before you go get the paint and the primer, because that's how I did it, let's see how this works out. All right, I need both hands back. Okay, well I got the bonding primer on. I put on one coat and I had some uh, edge runs with my roller. I'm gonna walk around to the other side. I got a truck over there that's parking so I get the horses out I think. But, uh, where I had sanded this was still uneven. So, kind of surprised me. I got out my sandpaper and I sanded it and this primer sanded almost instantly. This bonding primer. Okay, they're gonna park over there. So, I sanded it all down with like 220 and put on another coat of primer. Smooth it out. I was, I was really nervous right here until I sanded it and recoated it with primer. The second coat of primer and the sanding hid it all. 
So it says to wait four hours for oil, but if this stuff sands in half an hour, I may just wait an hour or two before I put my black on top of it. Wind will pick up and die down, pick up and die down. There's no way I could have sprayed this around here, outside anyway. I think it's going to look good. Cross your fingers. Well, I've shaken up my gloss black, but I made a mistake. The paint rollers I got were a little bit longer than the others. I didn't notice. They don't fit my pan. So I'm going to have to improvise. Or do something. It'll be all right. That black is good and shook up. Get this in this pan right here. Y'all wish me luck. Improvise, improvise. Y'all stay out of this paint now. Of course, Tucker's gonna stick his nose in it, right? That's kind of what he does, right? Well, so far, pretty good. Remember, this is the first coat on top of the primer, and I don't want it real heavy. I just want it to cover. Now the back's taking shape. Now I've got on two coats of primer, two coats of black paint. It's got a kind of an odd texture to it. Uh, I believe it may lay down. <clears throat> so before it gets too much drier, I'm gonna pull the paint and pull the tape. Hey everybody. Well, it's been a few days since I was painting on this gypsy here. Uh, I have mixed feelings about it. I love the color. I think black was the right way to do it. Um, however, that foam roller didn't give me the results and smoothness that I wanted. Um, I should have thinned down the paint or I got to find a nap that rolls smoother than foam. Uh, what I have done, I have gone and purchased some, uh, 2000, well, a thousand grit, 1500 grit, 2000 grit, and 2500 grit wet or dry sandpaper. And I'm going to have to sand down this finish to make it smooth. I saw it happening when I started rolling. But I was like, well, maybe a little texture would do it good. Uh, maybe that would hide some imperfections. But I don't like it. I don't like the texture. I love the color. I don't like the texture. So I'm not going to have, like, instant results here on this video. Um, however... I believe I can make it very, very slick and smooth um, on top of the 2000 grit, 2500 grit sandpaper. I do have some polish, uh, some cutting uh, material, and uh, it's just going to take some time. Uh, today I did stop in at a sign store and uh, just to see what they would charge me, and they quoted me almost $2,000. 
to put graphics on top of these graphics. That's not in my budget. I'd rather have more solar than perfect pinstripes. But I'm going to get it very, very good. Uh, just not this video is going to be as I go along. So I appreciate you following me along on this one. I went back and watched some of my earlier clips. Got a little bit of wind. Hey, I'm not perfect. <laughs> I'm just out here sharing my life. And not all my ideas work out every time. But this is going to. But I need to end this little video. So I'm in this little video right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. You guys take care. Bye-bye.